Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Roy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Silent Hill 2 is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck all over the screen and even many more issue the game is released and it is having a good positive review i bought this game pre purchased this game so uh, so far the game is having all overwhelmingly positive review so let us get into the game and see so the first one whenever you are having an issue with this one the first and foremost step that you can try is you have to do a restart on your pc and that's what you have to do so to do a restart you just need to go over here in the start icon go to the power icon here and just do a restart once the restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that's what we have to do moving to the next step is all about we have to go over here run the game as administrator from the game installation folder and also we have to try running the game in the compatibility mode so to do this what we need to do is we have two method we have a shortcut from the steam just go over here and right click and go to the properties go over here in the installed file and just click on the browse and if you check over here at the path that is this pc local c program file x86 steam steam apps common siren hill so just go to the game right click over here and go to show more options and go to the properties go over here in the compatibility make sure this is run this program as administrator and go for apply and also if you have to go for okay and one more trip you can say is all about just go over here in the same go to the same and go to the compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to either first to windows 7 and go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 and go for apply so just go over here and okay so once you're done with this one and just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to try the next one and apart from this particular shortcut you also have one method just go over here in the file explorer navigate to this pc go to local sc go to the program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps over here go to steam apps navigate to the common from here go to keep scrolling down and navigate to silent hill 2 and from here you can navigate to the application and try launch the game here as well so for some users you can go in this way or you can use the shortcut but try launch the game as in the compatibility mode and also run the game as administrator and also try launching the game from installation folder not from the steam even this even help a few users as well so let's not take any chances moving to the next step is all about we need to try verify integrity of game file for the time being what i'll do is i'll keep this particular step to the last and we'll move to the next one that is step four that we have to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or we have to allow to windows security so to do this just go over here and search for the control panel we have to search for the control panel click on this particular one and go over here in the system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to silent 2 so what we need to do is just keep scrolling down and navigate to the folder silent 2 and over here as you can see the silent hill 2 is already there and also make sure the private and public both is marked that is a very important step once afterwards just click on the change setting click on this one go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to keep scrolling down and navigate to the game silent hill 2 just select this one and we have to add the game so here i'll get in the error because the game is already added so if the game is not there this is how you can add it once you add just make sure the private and public both is marked which is a very important step once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game let's try step next one that is all about we have to install or we have to install the graphics card if you're on the nvidia or if you're on the amd so what i'll do is i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia as well as to the amd so if you're on the nvidia just go over here select everything so if you're on the geoforce select geoforce and over here as you can see if you're on the geoforce rtx 14 series you have to select this one and if you're on the geoforce rtx 4090 laptop with geo you have to select this one and if you're on the windows 11 you have to select this one and we have to use this one and go for find now from here as you can see once you search for here as you can see you'll be getting these particular options and if you're on the windows 10 
or Windows 11 with 64 bit. You can download this particular file which is around 595.90. You can download this one and install restart is a mandatory. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here. You can navigate to this particular one. You have to select the graphics, select everything over here and go to the 5000 series and go over here as well and go for submit. If you're on the Windows 11, you can download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, you can download this one as well and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. That's also it is so I'll be providing a link in the description. So go to this if you're on the x64 based one and if you're on the x86, you can download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. So moving to the next step after trying with this one, if this still you are having the issue, you can try run the game on dedicated graphics card. So what we need to do is just go over here and search for the graphics settings. And you have to click on this particular one. And over here, you have to browse the game. So here I have already added the game. So if you just keep scrolling down, you'll be able to find it. So uh, over here, I have already added the game. So if you don't know how to add, just click on the browse and that will take you to this. Go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program for x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game that is Silent Hill 2. Just select this one and go for uh, this particular one, binaries and Win64. Select this one and we have to app add. So as you can see, it is already added. So once after adding, you just need to go to the game. So I'll go over here. You have to navigate to the game. And now from here, what we need to do, just click on this one and we have to click on the option. And if the system is based on, let Windows decide, change this to high performance, which is NVIDIA RTX over here and go for save. Once everything is saved, just click this one, close this one and try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if you're still having the trouble, let's move to the next step. That is all about, we have to install Visual C++, which we have already done, and also try updating the windows to the latest version. So we just need to go over here and search for over here and go for settings. We can navigate to the settings. Now from here, navigate to Windows Update. Just make sure the Windows is up to date. So if you're having any kind of cumulative updates and all those things, just update everything. And once everything is done, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to unplug all the external device. That is a very important step. So for, for example, you might be connected with external devices. For example, joysticks might be connected or any other peripherals might be connected. So just unplug everything. After everything is unplugged, try launch the game. And once you get in the game, you can just connect it back and try continue playing the game and that will even work it for many users. Moving to the next one, we have to increase the virtual memory, which is a very important step. So I'll be showing you this. So to increase the virtual memory, what we need to do is just go over here and search for view advanced system setting. Just search for this one and click on this one and navigate to the advanced, go to settings, go to the advanced once again, click on change. So right now, click on custom size and we have to give the value initial size and maximum size. So we need a calculator. So just go over here and go to the calculator. So first type your RAM. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. So I have to type this one and I have to multiply with 1024. That brings me this one and multiply it with 1.5. That brings me this particular value. Copy this and we have to paste it. Next one is we have to do the same one more calculation that is 32 GB which is maximum size is 3 times the total RAM so multiply it with the constant value 1024 so just type your RAM 32 or whatever your RAM is and multiply it with 1024 and multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. And once this value is been done, just go for OK. And once everything has been set, just close this and we have to try to launch the game, which is a very important step. Moving to the next step is all about after trying with this, you can also launch the uh, game in the windowed mode if uh, the it is not in the windowed mode or you can make the changes over here. and we have to navigate to display and graphics. So right now, the screen mode is full screen. You can change into the board mode, and change this to board mode. And also, if you go to the uh, reset, just keep scrolling down, you can navigate to reset, for the graphic reset, so you can see this. So just keep scrolling down, and it's on the uh, this one, you can go to the screen changes, and here we can make few changes of the Show and accessibility to the graphics, and over here, as you can see, 
quality you can see everything's been set so just make sure that everything is being set according to pc's configuration so uh, over here you can see the color line should be checked this one the game option and the game switch if you wanted to you can set the, uh, this one as you wanted to and also if you go over here you can see uh, you just keep scrolling down it's over here so in the motions can be done according to pc's configuration and also if you wanted to change few things that can be done it's all because based on this one so if the render quality preset if it is high you can change this to even uh, low or medium and of course you can change this to medium and also regarding uh, the vc you can turn this off and regarding the dynamic resolution it is fine just keep everything and once everything is done go for uh, apply changes the screen changes and so you go for game so once afterwards just go back I mean, you have to go back and exit the game or you can try to the game but i'm going to go for exit so you can try and also the last and the least step is all about you can uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing it back on the same disk you have to try a new local disk and that's what you have to do so very important step which i skipped over here as you can see i mentioned i'll be showing you this particular step last because it's a very important step so if the files of a game, if they're corrupted, if they're going through any kind of issue, all these can bring the same issue. So there's not launching, freezing, structuring and lagging. So this is a very important step. So what we need to do is just go over here, go to the game, right click and go to the properties, go for installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So which is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and that is fine which is will be fixed that's what we have to do and we need to wait this to reach 100 percent that's a very important step so once afterwards try and most probably these minute steps can help you guys out so let's wait this to reach 100 percentage So once all files are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game. And these are the possible steps. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.